Hi, I'm Helen, aka The Perky Painter, and today we're celebrating what makes your family special. That's you all. We're creating family mascots using animal features to symbolise the awesome things about you and your family members to create a unique character. Have you got the multitasking skills of an octopus? Or give the best hugs? Or as brave as a lion? Or as playful as a dolphin? It's all about having fun working together as a family and using your imagination. There's no wrong answers. Your ideas and creations are personal to you and your family, so create the character you want to and have fun. As a family, make a list of the qualities that you see in each other that you want to celebrate in your family mascot and what animal you feel represents them. Choose at least one quality for each family member is there a particular feature that makes this animal recognisable? Like the wings of a butterfly? Or is there an animal feature that best shows this quality? Like puppy dog eyes and cuteness! Choose a maximum of six animal features so your design isn't too complicated or overloaded. These could be ears, nose and mouth, eyes, arms, legs, including tails if they're a bit fishy. And body. This could be something a bit different like a turtle shell or wings. Sketch your ideas until a character emerges. Use pencil and press lightly so you can rub out and make changes as you go. Once you have a family mascot worked out, draw your final character design. Now we're going to create a comic strip all about your family mascot. A comic strip uses drawings to tell a story. There are a sequence of pictures, one after another. Here we have our comic strip template, which you can download from the Tetley website family mascot page. There's a space at the top to add a title, naming your comic. You don't need to do this straight away. Once you've got your ideas for the story, this will become clearer. You can even do it at the very end. Each box has a big space for a drawing and a small box for text. Just like writing a story, your comic needs a beginning, middle and ending. Split your comic into three parts like this. Beginning, middle and ending. Your family mascot origin story could be the story of who each animal feature comes from and why. How was your family mascot formed? Was it by magic? Where do they come from? Is it out of space? How would you react if you met your family mascot? Do you stumble across the creature when you're out for a family walk one afternoon? Maybe you find them living in your loft. You want your story to be short and with a punchy ending. Come up with your story idea together as a family and split it into the three parts, beginning, middle and ending. Make sure each part has some action. We'll use the action cutouts from the worksheet download to add action to your pictures. Can you think of an awesome punchline to end your comic with? Start forming the pictures that tell your story. Use pencil and press lightly on the paper so that you can rub out and make changes. Start with basic shapes to work out the layout and content of each picture and build up detail from there. When you're drawing, you don't have to draw one perfect line. I can't do that. Well, that's not very symmetrical. Whereas if we draw lots of little lines and turn the paper as we go, much better. If you want to add backgrounds, make these basic skylines and keep them lighter than the rest of your picture. Use basic rectangles for a city skyline. And basic triangles for mountains. 
Use the action cutouts from the downloadable worksheet. This has a range of speech bubbles, thought bubbles and action shapes. You can either cut these out and glue them onto your comic, plan this now but don't stick them down until you've coloured in your drawings. Alternatively, you can trace the shapes onto your comic. Place it where you want behind your comic strip and put it against the window to see it more clearly if you need to. When writing in these action shapes, the size of your letters and if you're using capital letters or lowercase letters shows how loud or quiet a sound is. Remember to check your spelling. Your family mascot might make a completely new sound or speak a new language, so be as inventive as you like. Add details and colour to your pictures. I like using coloured pencils, but you can also use felt tip pens for that pop art look. When using pencils to colour in, press lightly for a lighter colour and find that flat edge the widest, flattest part of the coloured pencil. If you go over in different directions, that makes your colour more solid. And then you can build up doing heavier pressure, which will get you a stronger colour. Like that. If you're using felt tip pens to do light colour, try using dots rather than just straight colouring in. Smaller dots show even lighter shades. Just like when we use coloured pencils, when we use felt tip pens, the pressure that we use creates a different line. So if we press very hard, we get thicker, bolder lines, whereas if we press gently, we get a thinner line. Lines can be used just like circles to show shading. You can also go over with black to show shading using little lines If you want to use black pen or fine liner to make your lines bold and pop, do this after you've coloured in so that you don't pick up any of the black when you're colouring in. If you've used felt tip pens to add colour, wait until these have dried before going over your lines with black pen. Use the box under your drawing to add a small amount of narrative text to your picture. And voila! You've created your family mascot origin comic strip! Yay! Why not join me for a live art workshop via Zoom on Sunday the 21st and 28th of March? Watch the trailer to find out more and we'll have a pawsome time! <laughs> <laughs>